Morning, it's a dry day, fantastic day for doing the preparation for a sub base for a patio. In this situation, we're putting a patio in and it's a pedestrian area, so you want a four inches of compacted sub base. If you want to go deeper, you can, but four inches minimum, two inch laying course or inch and a half, and then your product of what you're actually putting on, your wearing course being your slab in this case. So it's so important that you compact, that's compacted four inches, not four inches compacted to three or two and a half. And remember, if the substrate, the substrate being the dig, you probably need to go, if it's a bit soft, you need to go a little bit deeper and put in a little bit more than those four inches. So what we're doing in this case here now, we've got all our type one stone in, okay? If you look along here, there's your, there's your damp course, okay? And at the moment, we're roughly, with the sub base, two bricks below damp, okay? So, but what I'll do, I'll rake the sub base now till it comes to two and a half bricks below damp course, okay? The one thing that we have to take into consideration is compaction rates. So if we can get this down to about two, two and a half bricks, by the time it compacts, that'll be a suitable depth then for us to lay the slabs. But it's so important that you check your levels, go over it, make sure you've got to fall away from the house. In this situation, what we had here before, we had the patio level, or someone else had the patio level, up to damp course. So we're going to follow through with a few more videos on preparation on sub base.